Hey guys, Saints Knight 2883 here, welcoming you guys back to the channel here with another movie review. And today's film that we are going to review for you today, if you couldn't tell by the helmet here and by my lovely shirt, we will be reviewing the newest entry in a franchise that I and the rest of the All Saints uh, pretty much like, well actually are in love with, uh, except for Iron One Shot. Strangely, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Now, if you guys aren't a fan of our movie reviews, or if you haven't seen them before, uh, just note that there are absolutely zero spoilers in this. This is just our opinions, uh, what we think of the film, and what we rated out of ten. And uh, if you agree with our opinion, if you agree with our opinions, good. You can go out and see it. This is just for uh, our archives, so we can let you guys know what we think of the movie. But anyways, enough dawdling up, chit chat. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to keep seeing these movie reviews on the channel, you know what to do by now. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Okay, so without further ado, let us dive straight into this review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And, uh... This is going to be pr a long one for, well, long-ish one for me. I mean, it's going to be a usual one, a bit drawn out, a bit a, like a detailed analysis over the entire film. But uh, if you're bored and you just want my first impressions out of it, out of the way, if you just want to know what I really think of it, just straight out of the gates, I'm going to say that first, go watch this movie. It's that good. Two, if you're a fan of Star Wars then it's better than episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back and which then again wasn't that hard since I didn't really like Empire Strikes well my favorite but anyway I'd say out of the 8 Star Wars movies I'm not counting Rogue One out of the 8 Star Wars movies uh, this one's honestly my favorite honestly it really is that good so if you only have one movie to watch during Christmas, go watch Star Wars. It really is that good. But uh, for those people who are anoraks and want a long explanation of why it's good, uh, then this is for them. Let's dive straight into the story where it picks up af straight after the events of episode 7. Uh, Ray actually encounters Luke Skywalker, and they begin the. She begins her training, and she finds out a little bit about why uh, Luke Skywalker is the last Jedi. And before you say, oh, but she said it's spoilers. It's not really because Ryan Johnson, the director of the Last Jedi, confirmed that Jedi was singular. So, yeah, jokes on you. Anyways, and whilst there, whilst Ray and Luke are off uh, training, uh, the resistance led by General Leia Organa is uh, still continuing to fight off the First Order led by Kylo Ren and Supreme Leader Snook. As far as the uh, story goes, it's a basic uh, st Star Wars uh, affair, so nothing uh, too drastic in the story, except uh, it's better than I thought it would be, the story. I mean, am I happy that it's not a rehash of Episode 5? Yes. If anything, it's probably a little bit more like Episode 6, although I can't say it because that would go into spoilers and no spoilers in this video. Uh... But yeah, I quite enjoyed the story, and it made sense for in terms of uh, Force, like stepping up from the Force Awakens. So yeah, uh, the characters were all uh, great. They were performed brilliant. Actually, they were acted brilliantly, and in some cases performed quite brilliantly. Uh, however, free if I were to pick free standouts, it would probably be well, obviously. Luke Skywalker, uh, actually Luke Skywalker, done superbly by Mark Hamill in I'd honestly say his 
best ever, actually best turn as Luke Skywalker. Although it wasn't that hard, seeing as how the original trilogy isn't really known for acting. I just offended a whole load of Star Wars fans. Right there, that sentence. But, search your feelings. You know it to be true. Uh, Screen Leader Snoke is another standout for me, done, actually, motion captured. Perfectly by Andy Serkis, who, uh, if you don't know his work, uh, was actually the lead ape Caesar in War for the Planet of... Actually, in the new Planet of the Apes trilogy, my personal favourite uh, trilogies of the modern era. Or maybe of all time, actually. Of all time, actually. And, uh, well, obviously, my, my boy here... Surprisingly, Kylo Ren. You would expect me to say Carrie Fisher, seeing as how it was her last performance. So, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. He was one of missed. But anyways, Kylo Ren. I mean, I... Whenever Force Awakens was released, I was a bit skeptical on Kylo Ren. Because, I mean, yeah, his helmet's awesome. But, actually, his... And also, his lightsaber. Hello, his lightsaber was awesome. I mean, look at this. How could you not fall in love with something like this? Oh, yeah, this is a shocking. But I did find this temperament to be a bit much, and uh, I think a lot of people agreed with it. Thankfully, in episode 8, his temperament's been dialed down, and uh, he's become a lot more relatable. And, uh, what turned from one of my uh, most anxious mem actually uh, characters turned to one of my more favorite characters actually would it be surpassing Darth Vader? Not really, but he's on the same level. Maybe in Episode Nine, if he starts to, if his character starts to develop a little bit more as he is, then maybe he can be up there. Like he can. Top Dark Vader, but I guess we'll have to wait till episode nine, and you'll have to wait till my review of that sometime in twenty nineteen to figure that one out. But uh, it's a Star Wars movie, so we have to talk about the effects and the soundtrack done by John Williams, who did all the Star Wars soundtracks, well apart from Rogue One. But mm, I won't count that for the purposes of this video. But the effects in Star Wars, I mean, um, The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens was, actually had beautiful, actually it had really good uh, visual effects. And The Force Awakens not only ups the ante in uh, visual effects, but it also um, tops up, actually tops itself on cinematography, uh, different alien types, Different creatures and all that, and even some of the new additions like the porgs are some are amongst one of my favorite, and hell even the crystal fox creatures that you see in the Last Jedi trailers. I want one of them now. I really want one of them. They're that good, and hell even some of the some of the pl new planets I really liked. Octo, that island does look like a bit of a trainer, honestly. Uh, I said that the game alert whilst we were in there, so <laughs> it's my fun. Uh, there's Canto Bay, Canto Boss, the Casino Planet, and Crate. With Crate actually being one of my favorite and like worlds, not just in the movie but in the whole of Star Wars, because it's so interesting. Like the creatures there. The look of the planet and how even some of the details like the sand and all that sort of stuff just being that it's actually really good and finally the soundtrack it's a John Williams score so you know it's gonna be filled with it, you know that it's gonna be uh, heart heartwarming heart crushing it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster as each scene is played out with Perfect music for each scene. Uh, John Williams knocks it out of the park yet again. 
Okay, so it's time for the... I think I've drawn this review out for long enough. Let us dive into what is going to be the final, final verdict of 2017. As this is the last film review we are going to be doing in 2017. So, final verdicts. Uh... You know what? Okay. It's the best Star Wars movie ever. And you know what? I'm gonna rate this a, a highest mark, high marks, ten out of ten. A the best. Not only is it the best Star Wars movie I've seen. Actually, it's the best Star Wars movie I've ever seen. It's one of the more beautiful. Actually, it's beautiful. It's acted superbly. The fight scenes were awesome. The music score was brilliant. The visual effects were amazing. I can't. I can't gush over this film enough. And I implore you guys. Go out and watch The Last Jedi whilst you can. So what did you guys think? Uh, so that's our opinions on The Last Jedi. What did you guys think? Do you agree with what we said? Do you disagree? Whatever your thoughts, leave them down in the comments down below. But for now, I'm afraid it is now time to end today's video. And in, an end the list of, actually an ended long stream of videos for 2017. Yep, it's a shame. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're not new, then don't forget to turn on the post notifications. Simple as you, really. All you gotta do is click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Click the box, enabling all notifications to the channel. Press save. Then boom. You get instant notifications on when we go live and when we post a new video. So to all of us here at the All Saints... So from all of us here at the All Saints Network, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as always, and as always, from us, peace.